Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm be showing you how to create what I like to call the reenactment effect. So it's this effect that sort of slows down time and recreates a scene. It adds a sort of difference between the present day and the past day, as you can see in these two shots right here. I see it used in a lot of different documentaries um, and sort of like reenactment shows on like History Channel and stuff. So I just wanted to recreate that effect to the best ability you could in Premiere Pro without, you know, doing camera movements to do it. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. Let's get started. First thing I did was import some footage from Envato Elements, a great subscription service. If you would like to pay a monthly fee and have unlimited amounts of stock footage, check out the link in the description below. Once you have your footage imported, so we're just gonna delete this and start over. You take your footage and we are gonna go with the boxing one again. We're going to go to our effects and we're gonna look for an effect called Posturize Time. It's under Video Effects Time, Posturize Time. and drop that on. It's going to default to whatever the frame rate of the clip is. In this situation, it is 24 frames. We want to go to about a third of that. So I'm going to right around 8, you know, 8, 16, 24. And now you can see what it does is it cuts out all those frames and it makes it a choppy motion. Now, what we want to add back on is that motion blur. Well, there was no motion blur or at least not a lot of motion blur in this scene. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating some in a, in a way that is interesting. And that is we have taken out one third of the frame. So let's add one third back in as the motion blur. To do that, we're going to duplicate the footage. So go ahead and hold your Alt key and drag up. Command on a Mac or Control C, Control V, Command C, Command V. Once you have your footage duplicated, you're going to select this second clip right here. You're then going to go up to your opacity and you're going to drop it down a touch. So for example, down to rate maybe like 35 to 40%. And you'll see that not much has changed up here. That's because we also copied the posturized time. We're going to delete that off. And now you're going to see we automatically get this sort of movement going. And we have this almost motion blur echo effect. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and change this to be blurred. I found that the directional blur is a really good blur for this, but check out all the blurs. You have a lot of them different uh, blurs here. You have, for example, Gaussian, or actually down here in Blur and Sharpen. You have Gaussian blur, you have the camera blur and the directional blur. Try them all out and see what fits best for your scene. But like I said, I like the directional blur. You got a little blur length here, and then you can spin the direction. So sometimes it's good to have it like at an angle, sometimes up and down. Again, play with it for your scene. And now you see we have the effect here. It's a slow motion and sort of blurred take on the motion in between the frames. Last little touch I like to do is the past dream sequence, reenactment sequence is usually tinted to a black and white. You can go into the whole Lumetri color thing and then drop the saturation. I find the quickest way to make a footage black and white is you go to video effects, color correction, and drag and drop tint onto them. So I'm going to drag and drop the tent onto the top one. So all of the uh, sort of shadows are going to be black and white. And then I'm going to drag and drop it onto the bottom one as well. Now, I don't want it purely black and white. So we're going to go down to the tent on this bottom one. And we're going to bring that back a little bit. Give it a little bit of color here. We don't need to tint it too much. And now you see we have the effect. Something to make this a little bit better. Usually reenactments are really zoomed in. So you may want to zoom it in a touch and have it sort of really focused. Another thing is I have a couple tutorials if you'd like to take a look. Add some camera shake to this as well. Make it really like it's a person in the corner recording this sort of footage. So this effect can be used for these sort of reenactments or like what I showed you at the beginning, sort of like a dream sequence. Maybe the person, that girl running on the beach was who the main character lost and they're having flashbacks about it. Anything like that and it works perfectly for that. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to check out how to learn Premiere Pro from scratch by learning just like this through tutorials in a very organized way where they all build on each other, check out the course in the link in the description below. I have made a course about Premiere Pro and it is a very in-depth course and it'll make you a master at the effects and the different elements of Premiere Pro by the end of it. So check that out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time guys, see ya.